Hi guys, it is challenge day. Always really exciting. One of my favorite videos of the month. This one is definitely a challenge. Let me get my other glove on here. Our rules for this month is monochrome. We have to do a monochrome pour. We have to do a puddle pour. And the only things we're allowed to do to make the paint move on the canvas are tilt and use a fork. Um, so that's extremely challenging. Um, I can't figure out in my head exactly how to do this to make it um, interesting and pretty. So I guess we'll just kind of see. Um, I have, uh, I picked out Phthalo cyanine green, and I, we're allowed to use different, you know, colors of the same, shades of the same color, so I could have picked out a different green, but I decided um, instead of picking out a few different greens or a couple different greens, I mixed up, this is just this phthalo cyanine green, and I also mixed up um, with a little bit of phthalo blue and some white. So I have those two. I also mixed it up with just white to create a pale, um, but I don't like it and I don't think it works. So I think I'm just going to stick with these two. And we're allowed to have white. Um, I have titanium white. I'm shaking my camera. Um, she said, I believe at one point, that we needed a pale version of the color, a really light version of the color. Um, it was close to white to be able to use white, and now that I'm looking at my colors, uh, they don't fit that requirement. So, um, but I'm ready to pour, so I guess I'm going to cheat. Sorry. Okay. Um, and my only thought to do this to where it's interesting, I don't really care for regular puddle pours. So I was thinking about doing the phthalo cyanide green on one half, or maybe like the one, or like two thirds, and then the lighter on the other, and then kind of use the fork to kind of drag them into each other. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. I really, I really am not sure. So I'm gonna do puddles in the corner. Puddles pity party. I don't know, does that count as a puddle? I don't know, I'm counting it as a puddle. Okay, so let's do some puddles of white. The problem is, um, I don't know, I just don't know. I'm going to start with a bunch of little puddles maybe in the corners, maybe a bigger one in the middle. I do, Ooh, and it's been a long time since I've done a puddle pour, so... They're just not my favorite. And this is kind of thick. I mixed this earlier. This is um, titanium white, if I didn't say. And my white and my phthalo cyanide green, it's just straight green. Um, is um, paint and Floetrol and the Thalo Cyanine Green with Thalo Blue and White is just paint and water mostly because I had as much mixed as I wanted by the time I got the right consistency so I didn't want to add any Floetrol in there um, to mess up um, how much paint I didn't want to add. Ooh, okay, I really wanted not quite that much. I might do some white on top of it, see what happens. I think, I don't know. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't know. I think 
I will do just a little bit more than half with this dark one and then do the lighter with the, um, this one. Although I really like this color. I kind of like it better than just the phthalo side. We'll see what happens. I may change my mind once I tilt a little bit anyway. Because I obviously do not have nearly enough paint on there. So let's tilt. Actually, let's put some white on top of some of them. Maybe not all of them. Maybe more towards the center. I'm really flying by the seat of my pants here, guys. Like, totally flying by the seat of my pants here. I know you can't see when I tilt that way. Let's just turn it. I don't want it to get all um, jagged, which is what happens a lot in um, um, puddle pours where you just kind of tilt it all over. At least that I've seen, they get all those jagged edges, and the ones I've done, I've done a few of them, uh, not too many. These were just a bit thick from sitting, I guess. Because they're moving slow. Okay. We do have tons of paint left, so. Okay, let's stop for a second and kind of look. Because I'm not liking the light in the dark. Maybe I need to do, maybe I'll do the light here. See if I can move some of this dark this way a little bit. Well, I can't scrape it. Can I? Can I use this part of the fork? I was just gonna scrape the Okay, well let's add it anyway. Let's add some more white, kind of. Okay, let's do this real quick. Try and push some of that green back to the center. Again, sorry for tilting in the wrong direction. Okay, now let's Do this over here. Kind of draw it so we have the dark in the center. Oops. And the lighter on the side. And this side will just have some of the green or the, the darker halo cyanide also. So okay, sound effects. You know I like my sound effects when I paint. Sound effects are important. That might be enough. I like how I say that might be enough and then I keep going. I do. Okay. Now, I may have to take the gloves off. Taking the gloves off. way a little bit. The way you 
can't see. I'm sorry. Okay. Go this way. No, I can't see. This way a little bit. See, I have these sharp edges on this side. Ooh, my glove is stuck. Okay. So I want to get a little bit of that if I can on this side, which I need to come this way, but I've got, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more paint first and maybe let's just see, since I haven't used my fork yet, if I draw it in, ooh, it's not quite doing what I thought it was going to do. Alright, well I can't go back from that, can I? Okay. Let me go this way, sorry guys. Just a little bit. Okay, so using these caps, and I don't really like them now that I'm getting the back of my canvas all over. Oh, look how pretty. Can you see that? That's very pretty. All right. I have an empty spot on my canvas. Super, super messy. Super, super messy. A couple empty spots. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hope everything is still in the camera. My camera is so high that I cannot um, stand up and look at it this time. I can double check, make sure it's still running, make sure everything's hunky dory. So if it's not, my apologies. Okay, so everything covered. Let's just cover everything real quick. Okay, now I have this forky thing here. Oh dear. What if we do... This way in the center. I'm going to get too much. It's going to get busy, 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 busy. no going back from this fork thing though is there nope. no paint right there once it's done it's whoa that is like insane it's like something you look at and you're like whoa that hurts my eyes <laughs> and I can't do anything to change it I've got to do this because the rest of it's done painful on the eyes. Let's just see what happens. Which way should I tilt? Let's just go this way because that's the way the camera is. Maybe I should put some more puddles on it. not pretty. My sides aren't covered all the way. This was a difficult, difficult challenge. Still have some paint. 
Um, maybe there's some canvas here. My paint was just not thin enough this time. Let it sit. I really should have added some water. Okay, let's just... I don't want to waste a whole bunch more paint. Maybe some major areas of white. This is how she wanted the fork used. But I'm not using anything else. I'm still just using the fork. There's a fly buzzing around in here. Having a good old time. No silicone or anything. I really didn't think I was going to be doing anything other than puddles. And now that I kind of cheated, let's see. Let's bring the fork back in a little bit. Oh, that just makes it so busy. I like the look, but goodness gracious, it's busy. Okay, what if I swipe these out and then just add a, do the same thing, just add a little bit of the fork? Oh, boy. Let me tell you something. If you guys are still watching, anybody watching right now, you have more patience than I do. I think I'd be turning and fast forwarding. I don't even have anything interesting to talk about. Because that's how boring I am. I'm sure I could find something. I could quote some movies. Do some movie trivia, movie quotes. Okay. But I have a feeling it doesn't matter. I'm just talking to myself. Having a party by myself. I think my sides will be covered doing it this way though. Okay, so... Bring the fork back. I have it going this way. Just a little bit there. So what if I do... Let's see. Just a little bit there. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. I'm pretty sure that swiping, well, it sure felt like cheating. Okay. But, do you, I'm going to stand up and look at it, see what I think from above. Oh, look, there's still canvas on the side. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hmm. See, this has more of the phthalo cyanide with the phthalo blue. I'm going to run 
a line of this, and then I'm going to swipe one more time because I really wanted some of that in there on this on the corners. I really like that color a lot. So my white that I'm almost out of. more of it doing it this way. Still seeing mostly that phthalo cyanide green by itself. This is probably the busiest painting I have ever done. It is hurting my eyes. I think I'm going to have to stop because it's certainly not going to get less busy. This might have been cool in like reds and oranges though because it's almost, almost fiery. Let's add, because I have some white streaks, like right here. It feels like there's more in there. Maybe I won't add any white, yeah, because it's just going to like some more areas of white. Ooh, I guess I can't do that, because that's not technically puddle pouring. <gasps> I guess I can't do that anyway. So I guess that's it. Maybe I'll torch just to see. No, I'm not, because unless I, if I just get itty bitty cells, it's just gonna be a hot mess. I think. Well, I don't know. Maybe I can't do worse than it is. It's just super, super, duper busy. And I wish more that phthalo cyanide blue with the. Um, uh, phthalo blue would have shown up because I really like it. Let's just go this way a little bit. See if we can't push more into there. Hope you guys can see this. Like I said, I can't check. So I apologize very much if you can't. I'll move it forward. And let me know <laughs> what you think. As always, we have a hashtag. For you guys to use if you take on this challenge and I'm sure some of you will do well some of you probably all of you will do a much better job than I did check out the other videos um, the rest of the group and see what they did because I'm sure they did a much better job at this than I did too this was just a total fail for me but it was an interesting challenge. It really made me think because it was way outside my comfort zone. We're talking way outside my comfort zone. So, you know, that's not a bad thing. I complained about it, but it's not a bad thing. I think I'm going to mix these colors again because I really like the that mix. Okay. I have the phthalo cyanide green and the phthalo blue. The runoff is really pretty. I'm going to stop because I just don't think at this point it's going to get any better. I think it is what it is. Oh, these caps are not working. Okay, time to get some yogurt cups or some pins, straight pins, whatever, safety pins. You know what I'm talking about. Push pins. There we go. Okay, this is hideous. 
Oh dear. Whoops. Should I give you close-ups? Do, do you dare? This is really bad right there. I'm just... And there's a fly going to land on it. That's what his opinion is of it is. Okay, my hands are a total mess. Let me wipe them off. And anybody still watching didn't give up on me, kudos to you. Give me a thumbs up if you're still watching. Not because I did a great job, but because I'm curious who's watching. Leave a comment if you would and let me know that you watched. And say hello. I like to say hello. Sorry, there's a little bit of canvas showing. And I don't think I can ruin it any. So, I might swipe because I really, this part right here is really bothering me. Like, really bothering me. It's just, I'm sorry, Sarah. I think this is cheating. I really do. Sarah's the one that came up with the challenge this week. And it really was. It was a good, I'm not, other than complaining about it, because I like to complain. Don't we all at times? Um, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, it was a good challenge, because I was, it's, you know, can't get much more challenging than this, as far as I'm concerned. So, I just didn't do well with it, and that's on me, so... Okay, if you're still watching, please fast forward, because this is awful. Boring, boring, boring. Awful, awful, awful. Okay. Yeah, there's just no... Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I will give you a close-up. There's some pretty spots. Overall, it's just... It's just terrible. It's just a mess. So, but I might get some good close-ups of it. So, let's see. See, I love this area where the these two colors are with the white. See, look at that. That's pretty. Focus. But not so much over here. Ooh, I'm going really fast. I know that when you're actually watching that on YouTube, that's like, whoa. Whoops. Oh, look, and it's been half an hour. Gracious me. Okay, guys. Challenge accepted, and I think challenge failed hmm let me know what you guys think and please the the links to the other videos are in the description box so click on those and see how everybody else fared during this challenge if you'd like to do the challenge with us the hashtag is in the description box also and you can post on social media with that hashtag um, so we can see what you guys have come up with with this um, monochromatic fork pour We'll see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.